Dorado. Yes, El Dorado. What an adventure. What a story. Who would believe it? Who could possibly tell it? Tulio, you are the hero. You must tell it. No, Miguel, please. You are the hero. You must tell it. Yes, I will. But, uh, where do I start? We were in Spain. Yes. In the marketplace. Yes. It was morning. No, it was evening. It was morning. We had just woken. From our siesta, it was evening. Am I telling the story? You're the hero. Compromised. That's a deal. It was midday in the marketplace in Spain. Nice to be wanted, isn't it? This isn't hugs and kisses wanted, Miguel. This is thrown into a stinking cell and forgotten about wanted. Oh, we'd better get out of town and quick. And we'd better keep away from the town guards too. Greetings! What do you sell? Corn! Golden bounty of the new world! Could you give me a small bag of corn? Give me one peseta and I shall! One peseta? That's all the money we have in the world! Greetings! What do you sell? Chickens! Finest quality! Oh? How much for a chicken? Twenty pesetas. Very reasonable! That's far enough, lads. If you want to get onto the docks, You'll have to pay the dock tax. How much? 20 pesetas for men, free for women. Come on, Miguel. Hello, my friends. Would you care to indulge in a game of chance? What's the game? Dice. This is our chance to make enough money for the dock tax, Miguel. Oh, yes! The bones are my friends. I'm in. Excellent. How much can you wager? One peseta. Ah, not enough, my friend. Come back when you have more. We'll need 40 pesetas to get past the taxman. Where are we going to find that kind of money? This poster worries me, Miguel. It certainly brings out your worst features. You're a true friend. Anybody watching? No.
That chicken seller will give us 20 pesetas for a chicken. All we have to do is grab this one and we're in the money. Well? Well what? I do the thinking, you do the grabbing. Get that chicken! Pathetic. Hey, he's fast. That chicken's no amateur. I'm just going to... <laughs> I'm just going to have to outwit our... I'm just going to... I'm just going to have to outwit our feathery... F we'll need 40 per... Where... A guard to you! He might not recognize us. Then again, he might. You're right. But never go we're caught like relax. We've been caught like rat. I'm just going to ha <laughs> We're wanted men, Tulia. We've got to get out of town and soon! How much for corn again? One pesetta for a small bag. Here you go, one peseta. And here you go, one small bag of corn. Chick, chick, chicky! Yum! Lovely corn! Uh, say goodbye to freedom, bird. It's eaten all our corn! Who cares? We're one chicken up on the deal. What will you give me for this uh, splendid free-range chicken? Five pesetas. What? But you sell them for twenty. That's how the market works, mister. Buy low, sell high. This is an outrage. Haven't I seen your face before? Five pesetas, eh? We'll take it. Okay, we've got enough money to get into your dice game. Let's play! <laughs> Such enthusiasm. The dice await, gentlemen.
The rules are simple. The first player rolls two dice. The second player decides whether he will roll higher or lower, and chooses how much to risk on his guess. No more than four pesetas, though. The first player matches the bet, and then the dice are rolled. Uh, what if the second player rolls the same as the first? Then the first player wins. But don't worry. We take turns at being first. Okay, here we go. I say... higher. I'll wager... two pesetas. I'll match that. I'm eight. Loser. Very well. Your turn. Now, do you want to bet you'll roll higher or lower? Higher! How much would you like to wager, my friend? I'll wager... Who, Pesetas? I'll match your stake. A six. I win! Yes! Now my turn. I say... Lower. I'll wager... I feel lucky. Four pesetas. I'll match that. A twelve! You win. Don't seem to be having a very good day. Very well. Your turn. Lower! I'll wager... Go for it! Four pesetas! I have no more money. Then we'll be on our way. It's been delightful doing business with... Wait, one more wager. But you're cleaned out, man! Not money. Something far more precious. Gems? No. This map. A map? Imagine my excitement. A map. We're gone. Have a nice day. A map of what? A map showing the secret road to El Dorado. El Dorado? The city of gold? El Dorado, the city of fairy tale, you mean? It doesn't exist, Miguel. It's just a trick to fool. El Dorado. Oh, brother. The wager is simple. If I win, I'm back in the game. If you win, you get the map. And the money? No. I keep the money. What? The map's worth a million times more than these few coins. We agree. Are you crazy? Please, Tulio, it's the real thing. I know it. Of course, if you doubt your skill. Hey, the dice stay hot for me. Then prove it. I will. You'd better be right about that map, Miguel. A nine. Oh, no. Now my turn. I say... Higher. 
I'll wager two pesetas. I'll match that. An eight. Ah, you got lucky. Very well. Your turn. Lower! I'll wager... Three pesetas. I'm out of money again. Shall we wager for the math? Yes! <sighs> I guess. A four! You pair of card men, you've won my math! Maybe, but we're not getting any money out of this. Who cares about the money, Tulio? We've got the map to El Dorado. Well, I'm just quivering with excitement about that, Miguel. Just wait until we're at the fabled City of Gold. Yeah, fabled has in non-existent. Come on, let's go. Hey, Pablo, you'll never guess. Oh? What is it, Inigo? Those villains, Miguel and Tulio, have been spotted in the town. Oh, goodness, how frightful. Come, Inigo, we must prevent them from leaving. Hello. What do you do? I stand here and make sure nobody opens that gate. Doesn't sound very exciting. In this line of work, excitement is something to be avoided. Oh, really? Behind that gate is El Diablo, the biggest, most evil bull in all Spain. You don't say. He's never been defeated and never forgets a face. So, if you want to live to a ripe old age, don't get El Diablo mad at you. Hey! Stay away from that! Sorry! Hold there, Varlets. Violets? Did he just call us Violets? None shall pass. I, Don Mocoso, conqueror of the Moors, pledge it. Hey, kid, beat it. Come on, Miguel, we don't have time for this.
barrels. Wait a minute. I'm getting an idea. Uh-oh. What if somebody was to advance on that little brat in a barrel? His stones would just bounce harmlessly off. One problem. Those barrels have had fish and vinegar in them. Where are you going to find somebody dumb enough to get in one? I can't see a thing in here. Look through the bunghole. Oh, right. That's better. Go get him, Miguel. Run off! Yay, us. We outwitted a six-year-old. Can I get out of this barrel now? We're on the road to El Dorado! No, we're not. We're still trapped in this town, remember? Hey! He dropped his slingshot! I'll have that. Good. He was dangerous with it. Although, not half as dangerous as you. Boy, am I glad to be out of that stinking barrel! I can imagine. In fact, I don't need to imagine. Could you stand downwind of me? What news, Inigo? New orders. Where to cover the docks? Ah, all I've done today is run around. Very well. To the docks, Inigo. So, hmm, remember what the taxman said, Miguel? Twenty pesetas for a man to get into the docks. And women get in free. Oh no, Tudio, please, don't make me wear a dress. Not you, Miguel, me. We just need to get to it somehow. We can't climb that fence, and it would take a cannonball to knock it down. Or a bull? I am the Great Malezo. No! Oh, a Torador of great repute. My name is Noor. Ador. Belong. From Seville to distant Butte. Oh, Who's that? Don't know. Good day. I'm Tulio, and, uh... Greetings and salutations. I... I'm the Great Malazo! We heard. Oh, of course, my thing has spread all across the world. No, we heard it from you, just now. So, you fight bulls for a living. Any good at it? Any good? Any good? Do you know who I am? Remind me. I am the Great Malazo! Conqueror of El Diablo! El Diablo? The Devil? I defeated the Devil in bovine form! The Devil looked like a bull? Right. Okay. 
He's crumbled in the head, Tulio. Come on, let's go. No, wait a minute. You defeated El Diablo, the big bull? In those shoes? He must be good. Wow, that thing's a monster. Nah, I've had about all the malicious. Have you ever heard of the Great Malezo? The Wretch Malezo, you mean. The Dolt Malezo. The Boggle-Eyed Fool Malezo. Friend of yours, is he? That pathetic fool? Never. He does say he beats El Diablo. <laughs> he ran around like a wet hen for so long, El Diablo grew bored chasing him. Hmm. He does claim to have defeated El Diablo. Let him face El Diablo again, and we'll see who is defeated. The bull will remember him? El Diablo never forgets a face, despite seeing more of that coward's behind. <laughs> I've got nothing I want to ask. Hey! Sorry. We've seen where El Diablo is kept. He's a real monster. Yes, and only I, the Great Malezo, was able to conquer him. I guess you're the real thing, all right. Hey, why don't we take a stroll over there and you can tell us all about it. To El Diablo? Yes, your greatest battle. He is securely locked up, isn't he? Behind a big, strong gate. Very well, then, yes, uh, I, the Great Malezo, shall tell you of my glorious victory. Follow me. You're my hero, Malezo.
You! You have the nerve to return here! I fear nothing. By the way, that gate really is secure, isn't it? Craven Worm! Poppinjay! Hoi polloi! Churl! What did you call me? Um, nothing. I can't bear the sight of you, you coward! If you won't leave here, then I shall. Good day. And I'd advise you two to have as little to do with that phony as possible. Well, you showed him all right. Yeah, you showed him what a wimp you are. He was wise to leave before he stirred my ire. You what? So, are you going to tell us the tale of how you defeated El Diablo? Patience, my adoring friends. I need an audience. What are we? Take out Paella? I am the Great Malazo! Oh, it's Malazo. How does he do that? Listen, my friends, to the tale of how the great Malazo, that's me, defeated the so-called undefeatable bull, the monstrous El Diablo. Oh, so hunky. Now what? Stage one of my daring plan. Which is? Currently under development. Nah, I've had about all the malaise I can... Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to unlock the gate, and then make myself scarce. Is that wise? The making myself scarce part is very wise, but the rest isn't. Let's do it anyway. Okay. That took a special kind of stupidity. Thank you, Miguel. It was step two of my daring plan. And step three is... Run! It would take a cannon or a bull. If you think I'm going to stand here and let the monster run me down... If only we could just hang your face there. I'm very attached to my face. 
Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Okay, the plan is, the bull sees the poster, thinks it's me, Finally, we have the dress. Hey! Oh, what now? Can we have... Get your kick stealing from little children, do ya? Not usually. Let me handle this, Miguel. Uh, there appears to have been a misunderstanding. That's them, Papa. They bullied me and stole my slingshot. Uh-oh. No, Miguel, not uh-oh. This is not an uh-oh situation. I'm gonna make you wish you'd never been born. Uh-oh. Oh, yes! <laughs> now I remember. What a charming boy. We were playing Knights and Violet. Varlet. And Violet's with him earlier. You dropped your slingshot, Sonny. Remember? He dropped it? Well, yeah, but... You told me they stole it. As I said, uh, just a misunderstanding. Here. Just wait till I get you home. But that one had a barrel on his head and... Come on, you. Okay, now for the most daring part of my master plan. More daring than getting poked by a mad bull. This is the part where I dress up as a woman. You're right. That is more daring. Okay, look away. I'm changing my clothes. Do you mind? Okay, if you're going to be like that, Now you're frightening me, Tulio. I'll be able to get past the taxman easily. But what about me? You wear what you like. Just so long as it doesn't clash with this. Hold it right there. Okay, Miguel. Here's what I want you to do. Forget it, Tulio. You're on your own. Bye. Miguel! Nobody passes this. Hmm. Why, hello, my dear. Uh, hi. Uh, I mean, uh... Oh, hello. What's a senorita like you doing in the docks alone? Um... Uh, my husband, uh, he's on Cortez's ship. I want to wave him goodbye. You poor creature. You will be lonely when he's gone. Aren't you worried that people might uh, sneak by while you're talking to me? Ha! Not me. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Even so, what if somebody called, uh, say, Miguel was to try and sneak by? Don't worry about that. Let us talk about you. Uh-oh. It's up to you now, Miguel. Your hands are workers' hands. I like that in a woman. Oh, you! Your eyes are like olives. Hey! 
I can hear you trying to sneak past, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Now then, where were we, my dear? I have a beautiful house in the hills. You must visit me there. Oh, you! Come to my vineyard. We could tread the grapes together. Oh, you are awful! Finally, Miguel's made his escape. What was that, my dear? I said, senor, you behave like an ape! Good day! Oh, was it something I said? Told you I'd get us past him. Come on! What are you looking at, Miguel? You know something? That dress, it really suits you. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. I'm going to pretend I didn't say it. Good. Now, come on!